Hello everyone, my name is Noah, I'm with the City and County of Denver, and in this video I'm going to review how to create energy meters and populate them with data in Energy Star Portfolio Manager. At this point you should already have created an account, added your property, and attached your Denver Building ID. If you have not already completed these steps, please go back and review my prior videos for assistance. Since whole building energy data is required to be reported to the City, you must have access to the entire building's energy bills in order to manually enter the data. If you only have access to common areas or partial building data, you'll need to connect with your utilities to obtain whole building aggregated data. Once you've confirmed you've accessed the whole building energy data, log into Energy Star Portfolio Manager by visiting portfoliomanager.energystar.gov forward slash PM forward slash login. Enter your username and password and click sign in. Select the property for which you would like to add energy meters. Click into the Energy tab and click Add a Meter. Common energy types include electric, natural gas, district steam, district hot water, district chill water, and renewables. But for this property, I'm going to assume it only has electric and gas. Please also note that you only need one virtual meter per type of energy. For example, if there were 58 electric meters and four natural gas meters on the building, you would only create one virtual electric meter and one virtual natural gas meter here. Once you've made your meter selections, click Get Started at the bottom. You can leave the meter name as is unless you have some personal preference that suits you more. But what we do need to update are the units and the date the meter became active. If you have Excel for gas, your units are therms. If you have some other third party like Atmos, Wood River, Tiger, Constellation, or Symmetry, you're probably billed in MMBTU or Decatherms. Electric is always billed in KWH or kilowatt hours. The date the meter became active is the day of the first entry you put into Portfolio Manager. Once you've entered this information in, click Create Meters. Beneath the table, to add entries, click Add Another Entry. Enter the start date, end date, and usage for the entire calendar year that you want to report. For example, if we were reporting 2022, you would enter all the bills spanning January 1, 2022 to December 31, 2022. I'm only going to do one entry so you don't have to watch me do all 24, but you would do this for the entire year of natural gas and for the entire year of electric. Once you've entered all of your entries, click continue. Select the radio button that says these buildings account for the total energy consumption of my building and click apply selections. Congratulations, you've successfully created energy meters and added data to your property. Follow this process monthly to keep meters up to date as new energy becomes available. I'm Noah with the City and County of Denver. Thanks for watching.